I think in the field of trauma that the, the idea of voice um, and, and internalized voice is very important. Um, and it's, it's had different terminology, um, certainly identification with the aggressor being one of them in the more analytic terms, but this is a, a term, you know, it, it reminded me of Milton Erickson in a sense, my voice goes with you. And that um, I know I've gone back to that and, and clients often refer to the voice inside them and they don't necessarily need to be uh, a dissociative or a DID person, but they identify that there's that, that voice that's there. So I think it's been a very important contribution because it may be that's what's being played out in what the, how the individual is trying to cope and that voice is, is there harassing them or hounding them or there um, giving them internalized negative messages that are not in their environment anymore, but they're, they're well embedded in their internal landscape.